and it's a very competitive market trying to buy stallions. Uh, prospective stallions already owned by stallion operations like Kuma or Dali, but we're always on the lookout for new stallions. Are all of your stallions from Ireland? We have stallions who raced in England and we have stallions who raced in France. We have stallions who raced in North America and France, but uh, primarily we, um, we stand stallions that race on turf. So even if they race in America, that they race on turf because we don't have dirt racing here. Celtic Swing is a big-boned, powerful thoroughbred. His hip and gaskin are large. This is his motor, the body parts that propel his frame forward with every stride. His walk is rhythmical and flowing, showing off the good angles of his pasterns and shoulder. He is correct, meaning there is no deviation in the trajectory of his hoof and leg as it leaves the ground, steps forward, and returns. This build empowered him to earn championship honors as a two-year-old and pass the same on to his daughter, Six Perfections, who won the Breeders' Cup Mile under Jerry Bailey. Well, of all the stallions that you've worked with, is there a favorite, and if so, why? Uh, no, lo I have lots of different favorites because I mean, each stallion has his, his own merits. I mean, you've got to love a horse like Indian Ridge. He's, when he started out at stud, he wasn't expensive. He would have got a mediocre bunch of mares, but he was so dominant. I mean, he's a stallion master's dream. He had no northern dancer and he was, you know, he wasn't the flavor of the month when he retired, but he just, he was such a, you know, a genuinely dominant upgrading stallion that he's, you know, he's the star of two Breeders' Cup mile winners, Ridgewood Pearl and Dome Driver, and he's the broodmare sire of um, Wilco, who won the Juvenile last, Breeders' Cup Juvenile last year. He's just so, he's such a genuine upgrader of mares.